Mari Sobi here at Mobile World Congress 2018 with Yaron Ravkayi from Radcom. Thanks so much for joining us. And Radcom has been remarkably disruptive in bringing cloud native solutions in the service assurance market uh, to the industry at large, working with some of the largest carrier operator customers that are out there. What's next? Where do you take that from there? Thank you for the question. We're very excited to be here. So uh, we're making a lot of progress. Uh, we decided to uh, disrupt the industry back in 2013. We started to work on that cloud native technology back then and uh, when we introduced it in 2015 and 2016, it was already a mature technology. What we've been doing since is we've been working with the largest carriers uh, in the world. You know, we have our flagship uh, project with AT&T, which were uh, deep in the trenches with them, um, supporting their assurance needs as they migrate their network to be fully virtual. Uh, AT&T just announced that uh, uh, they announced quarterly basically on their progress and they uh, continue to make very good progress expecting 75% of their network uh, to be virtual, fully virtualized. Exactly. Now uh, what, uh, with all that knowledge we started to uh, uh, work with uh, focus the company on uh, many of the very large CSPs that have similar needs to AT&T. Uh, we announced uh, during the tail end of, or during the second uh, half of 2017 that we won another very large uh, communication service provider. There was a lot of rumors around who it, who it was, but we didn't announce the name. We've been implementing with them. Now we, we're taking all that knowledge and continue to focus on really helping the communication service providers migrate their network uh, to NFV. Assurance is a huge need. Uh, they uh, uh, want to gain uh, the knowledge that, uh, and the technology, of course, that the disruptive technology that uh, is making AT&T so successful, and, uh, and we're focused on that. Now, one of the things that happens with the, the uptake and adoption of NFV is suddenly you're getting a lot more intelligence from a mix of different types of networks, from the physical, from the hybrid, from the virtual. How do you manage all of that incoming? The, complexity is very high in this industry. What we've, what we've done, we've done two things. We made sure that the cloud native technology can deal with any type of network, and I'll explain that in a minute. But we also, and I think you saw the uh, very exciting announcement that we did here in Mobile World Congress, we announced a GA version of a, a fully cloud native virtual uh, packet broker. Basically, we call it our network visibility layer. With those two uh, products, we basically completed our network visibility suite. That's, a, um, that's the disruptive technology and the additional piece that we needed in order to make sure that we can cope with any challenge that the industry is facing in a very, very advanced and unique way that no one else uh, today has. We've already uh, implemented a lot, of it, a lot of it with AT&T, so it's uh, field proven and uh, uh, we have... not vaporware. Yeah, exactly. And we have all, and not, not only the technology, and, uh, as, you're, uh, as you're mentioning, but also the knowledge that we're gaining. Uh, and you know, working with AT&T day in, day out, it's not uh, only the technology. You need sometimes to change the technology. You see something that you did is not uh, like you thought it's going to behave in the network. So that uh, live um, uh, knowledge, that real world implementation in the field, we're taking that to our customers. Now, what we can do basically today with all this suite of technology, we deploy everything as cloud native, but we can uh, assure the transformation between the physical and the virtual. And that technology, the visibility and the packet brokering technology, everything that's working within that cloud, allows us to basically to manage the packets in a very smart way and get all the insights out of those packets, whether we're in the physical world or the virtual world. And it's very, very unique because we're all doing it from the virtual side of the technology. Right. So anything like that the uh, communication service providers are doing or thinking uh, or encountering or any challenge in their migration, it doesn't really matter what their migration path will be, whether they decide to virtualize this component or part of the network or go to even a broader segment, establish their infrastructure. 
they can get very advanced answers from us and, and the assistance and all the know-how that they need in order to uh, really progress with their implementation. Right, so here at Mobile World Congress, obviously two things that we're hearing quite a bit about are 5G and also the Internet of Things. How is Radcom prepared to help its carrier customers adjust to those shifts? Definitely a huge buzz and a huge uh, maybe a amount of energy in this conference around 5G. We also see the very large carriers in the U.S., you know, the fight, the fight on 5G has begun. Uh, I think if the industry last year expected the 5G to be a 2020 uh, adoption thing, I think we're going to see 2019 with a lot of trial activity already happening in the second half of 2018. And we're gearing up for that, you know, of course, from the fact that we're participating in these huge NV transformations, uh, 5G is riding on top of NV, so it's a big part of that. Uh, we now need to uh, provide very advanced solutions for things like mobile edge computing, which is a huge thing on 5G, and it's going to cause a very large challenge for the mobile operators on how to assure that type of technology. So that's where we're putting a lot of focus. We're certifying everything. We're changing architectures to be much more agile and uh, meet the, you know, the needs of mobile edge computing. The second thing is network slicing. Um, which serves everything, including IoT. Um, and now you need to not only assure a network, but you need to focus on slices of the network and you need to uh, come with the uh, use cases uh, specific around IoT or other different slices that are going to run on their network. We're putting a lot of R&D effort on it. And uh, I think the most interesting thing is that we have somewhere to uh, put that R&D in. So we're working with our very large customers and they want our thought leadership and they want also the, um, you know, the, the uh, agile releases that we give them so they can cope with the, all this 5G transformation uh, there's, challenges. There's just have. so much work to be done. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. All right, so one last question, which is Radcom has a unique business model. Can you talk a little bit about the advantages that brings to your operator customers? This is, I think, a very interesting shift in the industry. So as the industry shift itself to become fully virtual. Now the, the service providers are under a lot of pressure and I think uh, it's a, it's, I once in a while remind myself it's a tough industry and then I talk with <laughs> my... Not just uh, for you, but also for your customers. Exactly, for, for my customers and you know, and for also some of my colleagues in this industry and uh, how, we, how we tackle this industry. So, and we came up with, uh, first of all, with the mindset. That mindset was that uh, if our customers, if the communication service providers are having challenges, it's our job to help them with their challenges. And they expect to gain uh, savings from their uh, virtualization efforts. And some of the savings are on how they deploy our type of solutions. And our solutions in the industry were very, very expensive. They became very expen uh, even more expensive as data continues to explode. And service providers need to put more boxes uh, into the network just to assure the service. Sometimes assuring the service be becomes more expensive than the service itself. So we came up with this model that uh, we call it a risk-free predictable model where we work with the service provider in a unique business model and we try to share the risk on their data exploding and a, in a unique way to license it. But for the service providers to really see how we do this, you know, they're going to need to contact us because, you know, this is the, <laughs> at the end of the day, the commercial differentiator that uh, we don't want to publish the numbers on the interview itself. Understand. Well, this is a good opportunity to do that here at Mobile World Congress. Of course, and yeah. we have tons of meeting and there's a lot of energy around us, so I'm very happy and jazzed up, so. That's great. Well, have a great rest of your show and thanks so much for yeah. joining us.